The device presented in this video is an analog front end for DC arc detection in solar applications based on artificial intelligence by Texas Instruments TI. The DC arc induces high frequency noise on the line current. To detect the arc frequency, data is acquired and fed into an integrated AI model trained to identify the arc. Compared to traditional arc detection approaches, this allows for greater accuracy with lower computational effort. The hardware operates with the TMD CNCD 28P55X, a control card of the C2000 devices with a 180 pin connector and is part of a set of tools for AI based arc detection. Simply put, an electric arc is a small lightning bolt between two points and, in this case, in a photovoltaic cell. It can last from a few seconds to several minutes, even if the system is shut down. It behaves like a welder, has extremely high temperatures and can create fairly large holes, even in very thick metal sheets. Today, the market imposes new safety standards for the protection of photovoltaic circuits from arc faults. The presence of a test circuit to verify the proper functioning of the arc detection unit is also mandatory. It must be able to simulate an electric arc at the unit's input and verify that the protection system is activated. How does arc detection work? The DC voltage is converted into a digital signal and then processed to determine spectral noise. Typically, electric arcs cause spectral noise that appears in specific frequency bands between 40 kHz and 100 kHz. The nominal power can be compared with a baseline measurement and the system can be alerted when the noise level suddenly increases. To detect an arc accurately, and reliably, a fast and high resolution AD converter is required. A 16 bit AD sampling at 250,000 samples per second provides the necessary resolution and speed. Once converted into a digital signal, the voltage must be processed in the frequency domain using complex real time algorithms. The device detects DC arcs in solar applications and is based on artificial intelligence. The string current is measured, filtered and fed into a special algorithm. Tools are available for arc data collection, acquisition, AI model training and system validation. One of the subsets included in the project consists of four independent analog front end channels for arc detection. It includes four main blocks. Isolated current measurement through an integrated current transformer or connector for an external current sensor, though the transformer is preferable for obvious isolation reasons. A bandpass filter that limits the spectrum of the acquired signal since a solar inverter system is usually a noisy environment. A fourth order low pass filter and a fourth order high pass filter are used. Analog to digital conversion via the internal ADC of the C2000 microcontroller to collect data from up to four arc detection channels. The 250 kHz sampling frequency meets the sampling theorem for frequencies up to 100 kHz. Arc detection using integrated AI models. Now let's examine the various components of the electronic board. It has four signal acquisition channels, supports a maximum current of 16 amperes, the auxiliary supply voltage ranges between 8 volts and 16 volts, and the maximum string input voltage is 1500 volts. The integrated circuit U16 
is an AMC 23C11, a reinforced isolated fast response comparator used in the arc voltage detection section. It works together with the U17, an AMC 3330, a reinforced isolated amplifier with precision voltage detection, plus minus one volt input, and an integrated DC-DC converter. U11 is another AMC 3330 amplifier used in the string voltage detection section. Then we find U5, U6, U8, and U9 for low noise operational amplifiers used as analog bandpass filters. CT1, CT2, CT3, and CT4 are the four onboard current transformers, one for each arc detection channel. They extract the AC component of the string current and send it to the gain and filter stage and then to the ADC. Now let's look at the connectors on the board, refer to the related uh, schematics for more details. J1, J2, J3, J4 are the inputs for external current sensors, one per channel. J7 is the auxiliary power input, ranging from 8 volt to 16 volt. Uh, J5 underscore 1 and J5 underscore 2 are the HSEC connectors for the C2000 control card. J6 is the debug header that connects GPIO, voltage lines and SPI lines. J8A and J8B are the positive and negative string voltage inputs for the labeling circuit. J9A and J9B are the positive and the negative arc gap voltage inputs for labeling. The test points are as follows. TP9, TP11, TP17, TP20 are the positive outputs of the CTs for the four channels. TP10, TP12, TP19, TP21 are the negative outputs of the CTs for the four channels. TP2, TP4, TP6, TP7 are the bandpass filter inputs after the gain stage. TP35, TP36, TP37, TP38 are the outputs after the low pass section of the bandpass filter. TP1, TP3, TP4, TP8 are the outputs of the bandpass filter. TP16 is the 5 volt line. TP18 is the 3.3 volt line. TP22 is the comparator output. TP23 and TP26 are the positive and negative outputs of U11 for string voltage detection differential output. TP24 is the string voltage detection output. TP30 and TP2 are the positive and negative outputs of U17 for arc voltage detection, differential output. TP31 is the arc voltage detection output. Finally, TP13, TP14, TP15, TP39, TP40, TP25, TP29, TP33 are connected to ground GND. Now let's run a small test of the board simulating the presence of an arc we power the device at 12 volts via J7. The alternating arc signal passes through transformer T4 inductively. An oscilloscope measures the amplified and filtered signal on TP38 and GND. The arc signal is generated at a frequency of 70 kHz at 12 volts on a 100 ohm load. Without the arc, the signal is flat. As soon as the arc is generated, the signal appears at the output ready to be used by the AI board. When the arc signal is stopped, the measurement returns to zero. We re-simulate a short arc and the indicator signal reappears.